Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's video. We're going to talk about Navy and tankless water heater problems and how to troubleshoot them. If you're a Navy and user, this information is essential. Over time, you might encounter various issues with your Navy and tankless water heater. Don't worry, I'm David Clark from HavacLaboratory.com, and in this video, we'll cover the most common problems, their causes, and how to fix them. Navy and tankless water heater no hot water. Let's start with the most common problem no hot water. There are several reasons why this might happen. 1. Electric power supply and dirty cold water inlet. It can be due to a lack of electric power supply or a dirty cold water inlet. Even though Navy and heaters run on gas, they still require electricity. If the inlet gets clogged, you'll face hot water issues. Defective flow sensor. A defective flow sensor can also be the culprit. If it's damaged, it won't detect water temperature, leading to no hot water. 3. Clogged heat exchanger and 3-way valve. A clogged heat exchanger or a faulty 3-way valve can also prevent your water heater from providing hot water. Solution. To troubleshoot this problem, you need to check and address these issues one by one. Always begin by verifying the power supply and inspecting the electric outlet. Navy and no hot water no error code. What if you don't see any error codes displayed, but you're still not getting hot water? Let's find out how to troubleshoot in such cases. Solution. Try opening and closing the pressure relief valve. If that doesn't work, consider adjusting water temperature, cleaning the air inlet filter, and checking the gas valve and PCB. Navy and tankless water heater no water flow. Next up, we have no water flow. When the power is off, cold water may flow initially, but it stops as soon as you turn the unit on. What's the cause? 1. Dirty cold water inlet filter. A common reason is a dirty cold water inlet filter. Cleaning it can help restore water flow. 2. Issues with solenoid valves. If it's not the filter, there could be issues with the solenoid valves, which need professional attention. Solution. Clean the filter, and if needed, have a professional test and repair the solenoid valves. Navy and flow sensor problems. Now, let's talk about flow sensor problems. This vital component detects water flow and temperature. Solution. Inspect the flow sensor for any visual damage. If you find issues, replace it, but consider professional help if you're not familiar with the process. Navy and water heater constantly running. Some Navy and tankless water heaters run constantly, which is normal for certain models. However, if you notice unusual behavior in a residential setting, it's time to get in touch with Navy and customer support. Navy and water heater won't turn on. Turning on your Navy and water heater may seem straightforward, but various issues can prevent it from starting. 1. Electrical issues and gas supply. Start by ensuring you have a proper electrical power supply and sufficient gas pressure. Check for tripped circuit breakers and blown fuses. 2. PCB and control board problems. Sometimes, PCB or control board issues can prevent the unit from turning on. Solution. Address electrical and gas supply problems, and if needed, hire a professional to repair or replace the PCB. Navy and tankless water heater won't stay on. If your Navy and heater turns off suddenly and won't stay on, there are various causes. 1. Insufficient gas supply and clogged air vents. Ensure the unit has enough gas supply and check for clogged air vents and dirty heat exchangers. Solution. Address gas supply issues, clean clogged air vents, and flush the heat exchanger. If unsure, consult a professional. Navy and tankless water heater freezing up. During the winter, or due to frequent power outages, your Navy and tankless water heater can freeze up. Solution. To prevent freezing, insulate pipes. If it freezes, thaw the unit and pipes with a hairdryer after turning off the gas supply. Navy and three-way valve problems. Water quality or corrosion can lead to problems with the three-way valve. Solution. The only solution is to replace the valve, which should be done by a professional. Navy and condensate trap leaking. 
If you notice water leaking from the condensate trap, there could be a problem with the O-ring or heat exchanger. Solution. Replace the O-ring if it's faulty. If the heat exchanger is the issue, consult a professional or make a warranty claim. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips. To read the full article on this topic, check the description below for the link to havaclaboratory.com.